<laughs> Do you remember and you would wake up on Saturday mornings and you could not wait to watch cartoons. I mean, it was going to be the highlight of your week and you would watch Spellbound often like this for hours watching the cartoons. It made Saturday morning so special. Remember what that was like when you were a kid? Well, now we invite you to get that feeling all over again with Saturday Morning Live, brought to you by Walmetto Arts and Entertainment, <laughs> where we actually use imagination to imagine that a 73-year-old can one day get a network TV talk show beginning like this. Hello sure. and yeah. welcome. I'm Craig O'Neill. Yeah, I'm still wearing the TV pullover. <laughs> well, okay, it's so comfortable. And uh, welcome to our cabin, although <laughs> I know it looks kind of ornate <laughs> to be a cabin, but it is a cabin, isn't it, Jane? Well, we call it that. It's a cabin. I tell you what, if you were... My daddy built it in 1960, 68, right. 69. If you were sitting here looking at, <laughs> excuse me, looking out there, this is the picture you would get. <laughs> Let me show you the picture. This is the view right from where I'm sitting now. All I have to do is enter my passcode. See, I remember. How about that? I remember my passcode. That's our view. Isn't that cool? Not very pretty right now because spring hasn't come this far north, but it's at least the sun's coming out. Hooray! How about that? Everything looks prettier when the sun. How about out. that? That's the view where I'm sitting, right there. Look at that, Jim. Look at that. Is and that this cool? This summer, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see that floating by on the Spring River. <laughs> How about that? That's my homage to Go Go Clausen. Mm -hmm. She was famous. She would swim down that river to the bridge. At the age of 82. No, you got that wrong. Well, 83. No, she swam the mile from here to downtown <laughs> until she was 72. I like 82 better. <laughs> we used to think that was so cool, and now we're, I'm so we're a year older than she was back in 1969. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, this is Hardy, Arkansas, and we have to congratulate this area because they're in zone one and at the recent Arkansas tourism meeting in Jonesboro, zone one, including Hardy, which is just that way a mile, and We're this whole Hardy. area got zone of the year, the tourist zone of the year in the state of Arkansas. I think it's the first time they've won it in quite a while and they're celebrating up here. So I'm just saying. We're in a popular place. How about that? Zone one. Congratulations. Let's see who else is here. We've got, uh, let me see. I can pick this up. Oh, God. And bring it. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've, we've had a few accidents since we've been here with moving mm -hmm. equipment, but that's all right. I won't tell you anyway. Okay. <laughs> You're okay. We would like to say hello to Jim, who was a famous Pass the Ammo fan. <laughs> Alicia Shooty Brown, it's good to have you here. And uh, Joy Cameron, thank you. Joy says we have a beautiful view and the sun. This is oh, so weird. As soon as we start this show, the sun comes out. Now, I'd turn the camera. Well, I guess I could turn the camera. Well, in around. the winter, we can see the river from here. You know, I could turn the camera around and show everybody. Yeah. Oh, you know, I could. We're going to show y'all. We're uh, just going to turn the camera around. I don't know. Go ahead and turn it around, Jane. It's stuck. Hey, it's, it's Saturday Morning Live. We're all with friends here. So look at that. Does look that work? at that. Well, the sun's now back in. Uh, it's kind of coming out. Can you see the river down there? Folks, please disregard the Louisiana 
state of Louisiana on the wall. Oh, okay. Jane's parents built this cabin, and they both went to LSU. No, actually, some friends of our daughters brought that. Oh, okay. So, please. Get it straight. And, hey, name. Jerry Aldridge says, happy birthday, or says, hi, Craig, not happy birthday. She says, hello, Craig, from Bardstown, Kentucky. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going all the way to Bardstown, Kentucky today. And you know what they say. Once you have Bardstown, you've got the rest of the world. Right. Really? Did they say that? Well, they do in Bardstown. <laughs> Is the rock supposed to come now or, or later? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I advertised on this show that we would have as a special guest, The Rock. We would like to welcome now to the show, The Rock. That's right, The Rock. Bring him on in, Jane. Come on in, Rock. Okay. I found this by the river. That's the underside. And I liked it that it had a head and a place for an eye. Uh-huh. So. Cool. Here's the rock, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a she, dead gummit. Get it right. How's that? Uh-huh. I've just started painting her. I put eyelashes. It's a her? Yeah, she's got eyelashes. Oh, okay. And see her little smile, her little lips. But uh, I'm using Posca paints, acrylic paint markers right now, but I'll probably, if I keep her outside, put a acrylic gloss glaze over it to protect the color. So but this really isn't the rock. These are just for fun. This is the rockette. She is the heaviest daggum <laughs> rock I've ever painted. Can I put her down now? Oh, she weighs about 10 pounds. Folks, that could be yours. No. Go to jdefhankins.com. No, 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 no. I'm not. I don't. These are not on my website. Oh, they're not on the website. They're not for sale always, yet. No. You know, if we you sold can them. always contact me uh, through my website or go to my Facebook page. I think we ought to sell these by the pound. Oh, fifteen dollars a pound. We'd make thirty dollars on that rock. Well, she's... which this time yesterday, just sitting out there by the river, nothing. Now look at all the personality. I got some more to do, but you're not set up to see my work table. I have a little card table in the background. <clears throat> well, we'll next time we're from the river, we'll set up. Yay. Let's see. Stay We'd like to you. say hello to Michelle Ketzer, who loves the rock. Jane, Linda Cole, Thank you. woo. She says woo. Oh, love her. Hey, when Linda. you get when you get the Linda Cole woo, that's something you want to do. Good morning to Mark Carnes. We love Linda. Hi, Linda. From Fort Smith. Folks, we are going from Kentucky to Fort Smith. The show is growing. You know what the goal of this show is. It is a network TV show. And this is the ground floor. And this is a guarantee to everybody watching. Just for watching on the ground floor, square one, to get to network, I'm going to give everybody watching today free tickets to that first network TV show premiere. Hey, I've got your name scrolling. I can keep track. We can connect on Facebook. And that day that CBS puts me on Channel 11 with the talk show from, from I don't know, where do y'all think it ought to be from? If I get a TV network show, should I be New York, Los Angeles? Anybody got any suggestions? Horseshoe Bend, Janet Riley, or excuse me, Janet Riley from Horseshoe Bend. Not a bad idea. Very colorful. How about um, Leah Nugent? Leah, we could do it from here. Ooh, here's an idea. I got a better idea. When I get the network TV show, we go to everybody's house. A different. <laughs> hey, I got a better idea. <laughs> different. How about a podcast? James Everybody says. And their uncle well, the, now wait a minute. Okay. It's face. It's Saturday morning live. Then we do the podcast. Then we do the YouTube channel. Boom. We get millions of followers. Boom. Network TV show. What do you I think? I thought you just retired. <laughs> I can't retire. You don't slow down. I'm the one slowing down. Do Oops. they want to see my, my big sure. nice fluffy dog? Sure. Slide? Go ahead. This is, Bring I'm, it in here. Uh, I'm still working on some coloring pages. Look at that, y'all. And uh, this is the big white fluffy dog that takes the children up to mm -hmm. above the clouds at bedtime. 
so they can visit with the star babies. I'm not quite done with them yet, but um, this is it, my latest group of drawings have been uh, traveling to imaginary lands on fantastical beasties. So this was the latest one I'm working on. Cool. That is cool. I don't know if you can see it or not. My favorite, I can't tell. My favorite little person is that one right there. Ooh, that looks good. That little girl, she's just so happy to snuggle into that big that fluffy sweet dog. Sweet ladies and gentlemen, the rock, yeah, not the, the pictures, it just keeps on coming. That's Walnut. That's imagination. It just is non-stop with Monetto Arts and Entertainment bringing you Saturday Morning Live. Where we want to say hello to Angie Grant Elementary in Benton. I was there this past Monday. I read to first graders, and it was the first diamond book I've read of the new year. You know the Diamond Book Award goes to the best children's book in the state of Arkansas. Now, it does. it's not written by an Arkansas writer or illustrator. It's just the book that Arkansas kids think is the best children's book. And there are 12 nominees as selected by a panel of experts. And the kids read at least three of them when they do that or have them read to them like I did. When they have at least three, they can vote. And last year, they had a record year. They had over 32,000 kids voting on the Diamond Book Award. This year, the 12 nominees, and here's my prediction. This one, you hand you something? this one, no, I've got it. This one is going to win it all. Count them. I want you to write it down. My expert opinion, it is, can you see that? Poultry guys. Poultry guys. It takes why did the chicken cross the road and turns it into a ghost story. Because when the chicken try, tries to cross the road, it meets a truck. And the fun starts there. Oh, the kids love it. If you're a parent, K through third grader, get that book. Get that book. They're going to be laughing. They're going to love it. Poultry guys. Pet Callum. It's going to win. Speaking of birds, did you tell them I saw a, white, a bald eagle yesterday? Oh, Jane wanted me to share with you that she saw a bald eagle here at this beautiful spot on the Arkansas River. Swoop right over the I didn't see it. She was about five steps ahead of me. I missed it. So, but I didn't miss Carmen Patterson or Mary Chisholm, who says, I never miss you on Facebook Live. In fact, we're very aware of that, Mary. If you ever miss, there's an alarm that goes off if you're not on. In fact, sometimes I don't even turn this on until I know you're there. That's how important you are. Folks, this is a big week. <clears throat> This is a huge week. We go to Margaret Van Elementary in Conway and kick off Read Across America Week. And if there was ever a week that you were going to read to your kids, this is the week. Read Across America Week. And I love this. Margaret Van in Conway is going to have a parade, and kids are going to dress up as their favorite children's book character. I bet you we see a lot of Harry Potters. Anyway, and they're going to parade around the uh, cafetorium, and then I'm going to read a children's book. But anyway, read Across America Week. Second thing, the gar now, this is interesting. This is going to get political. The Garland County Library is going to be the site of this year's library, Arkansas Librarians Conference, and it is uh, a celebration of joy in the library. Now, one of the things they are, one of the reasons they're calling it that is because librarians have been, oh, under the microscope over the last year, especially in Saline County, where the county judge and the librarian got into it to the point where the, the head of the Saline County Library resigned and now she's running for county judge. Anyway, librarians have been, oh, villainized in a lot of circles for um, because of the, the desire to regulate and control the library and the content 
by politicians. So the libraries have been have been under assault, it's and a it's a it's a book ban. It's that's right. Well, we haven't seen any book bans yet, but you get oh, the feeling yeah. that that could be next. Nonetheless, this is a celebration of joy yes. to be in the library to read, and on Friday, I'll join them and spread the message because they're a terrific group of people. We want to say hello, Uncle Dan Poultry Guys. He loves laughing. He's laughing out loud. I love it when you laugh out loud, even though somebody may tell you to be quiet. When I laugh out loud, you certainly know. We want to say hello to, to Sue Taylor, who is the ham smuggler. Now, I don't know if you're aware, but on Wednesdays at 7.15 in the morning, I'm on the buzz, brought to you by Petty Jean Meat. And I'm telling the story of how people uh, buy petty jean hams and take them to family reunions or maybe on trips or whatever. Well, I got the story that Sue Taylor smuggled a petty jean ham on board an airplane. And I think she was discovered because the flavor of petty jean meat is so good, even if you put it in the overhead bin, the flavor of petty jean meat is going to get out there. She's going to get caught. I don't think she was fined or anything, but we're proud of you, Sue. You're showing your love of Arkansas in good taste. Thank you. And who else do we want to mention? Elaine Rickett. Jane, she wants, Elaine wants you to know she loves your artwork. Oh, thank okay. you, Elaine. Thank you. All right. The goal of the show, y'all need to talk this up. I'm putting the pressure on you. Talk this show up. we got to take over the world to spread the good feelings. Now, where would you do the show? Would you do New York or Los Angeles? I think right What do y'all think? Arkansas. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's do a two-minute poll. New York or Los Angeles? When I say go, y'all vote. New York or Los Angeles? Or if you have another suggestion, but those two. Here we go. And go. We got or, the two-minute poll Can you add right Arkansas now. to that? You can add Arkansas to that, Jane. Yep, you can. Am I messing up your show? <laughs> Told you I was sleepy. <laughs> All right, who? <laughs> New York or Los Angeles? Uncle Dan says Little Rock. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of places, too. A lot of uh, empty storefronts we could do it. Ooh, you could revitalize some storefronts and areas of Little Rock. Uh... Margaret Nenek says Chicago. Hmm. Sir. By the way, I was in Chicago and saw, uh, I was in a store in Chicago off, right off Michigan Avenue one day, and Oprah Winfrey, I just happened to be there, and she comes in with an assistant. Is that I didn't say anything either. I promise. I didn't. I didn't. I wanted to. But then Oprah, by the way, I understand, has left. The board of directors of Weight Watchers, and the story I got yesterday was the reason was because she discovered Ozempic. Well, Maybe she'll get on the board of Ozempic. Okay, we got one minute left. Sylvia Summer says New York. Alice Housley says Little Rock. Alice, if it's in Little Rock, we'll get the TV talk show. You're on it. Everybody that's watching today, free ticket. We've got 30 seconds left. So far, the winner is. Keeping it in Arkansas. Yay. And Jim Hurden says, Arkansas Post. Well, why not? Isn't that something? Arkansas Post was settled in the, in the 18th century, long before social media, and now Arkansas Post has a whole different meaning. Think about it. Okay, we have 10 seconds. It's going to be, it sounded like it's going to stay in Arkansas. It's neither, nobody said L.A., it stays in Arkansas. Ladies and gentlemen, here's what we're going to do. When I get the network TV talk show, we go to Little Rock and we go to Arkansas Post and maybe Brinkley, which is halfway. So there you go. We settled that issue. <laughs> Jane's waving goodbye to everybody. It's 1020. I got to run. I don't know why, because we're up here taking it easy. And, um, taking it easy and having a good time up here on the Spring River. Thank you all for joining us on Saturday Morning Live.
I don't know what we settled today, other than read Poltergeist, coming to honor librarians on Friday. Spring River is beautiful. Congratulations to Zone 1 from the Arkansas Tourism Commission. And thank you all for watching. This has been Saturday Morning Live, where brought to you by Walnetto Arts and Entertainment, where imagination takes you from Hardy to New York, LA, Horseshoe Bend, Kentucky, and the Arkansas Post for an imagined TV talk show. Good morning.